say that all of you are here is because you're committed to the cause of disability, and that's what's brought you here, so I, I really welcome you. I also would salute uh, those who are actually disabled and have made it here. And I think you have made it here because you fought the system. It's not that we made it easy for you, any one of you, to be here today. And I hope uh, that mine was labeled as a keynote. It's not a keynote. It's actually a plea to everyone here in this room. And I'm just going to share some of my perspectives. In fact, if you speak fourth or fifth, a uh, large number of points are covered, but I still try and bring in some areas that uh, uh, touch. Till 2008, I had no idea about disability. Today, I'm chairman of NCPDP. Thanks, Javed, for having invited me. Uh, Javed called me up in 2008 when I took over as uh, president of NASCOM, and he said that neither the government websites, nor NASCOM website, nor your members' websites are accessible. And would you do something about it? And I said, yes, I would. A year passed. We talked about it, did nothing. In 2009, Javed called me up in February and said, you're going to have your event here. And by the way, there'll be 3,000 disabled people who will be outside your event protesting. And he says, that's the only language you all hear. And that's what touched me. I promised to Javed that he would not do what he said he would. And that I would now promise and actually do what you think we should be doing. And that's how NASCOM and NASCOM Foundation got involved. And I got personally involved. And as I finish my term, here I am uh, participating in it. Uh, my own understanding of disability was rather low. It is still very low, but it's getting better by the day as I get involved more and more. NCP DP, of course, works on policy advocacy because we do believe that every one of you who's doing something for that individual, this person who is, I think, is doing a great job, but we have to really hit at the grassroots level, make some fundamental changes that are there that uh, need to get done. I welcome the minister here. Uh, thank you, sir, for joining us. <coughs> Give him a big thank you. As I speak about it, uh, Minister Gehlot has, I've met him almost at every function of disability, and I think that's his commitment, that while he handles large portfolio, he, he keeps joining us. Uh, so we are really focused on, as NCPDP, on policy changes that are there, because if you fundamentally change the policy, and I think the government has been quite receptive, but the job and the task is really, really large. Uh, before we get into CSR, I actually have a little issue with this word CSR and we talk about disability, because actually this is what we should not be doing. We have to be mainstreaming disability rather than it being treated one of the good to do things, which is CSR. And why is it so? You heard numbers, somebody is saying it's 2.8 crore people who are disabled. Some are saying, no, wait a minute, if you count 19 disabilities which UN recognizes, India currently recognizes only seven, and because we recognize seven, the census says 2.8, but if we take the 19 which are recognized around the world, it's probably seven, seven and a half crores. And if we talk about people who get disabled because of age or medical disability over time, the number doubles. So whichever number it is, 10 crores, 12 crores, 16, 8, it is a very large number that we have. And if, if the number is so large, the question is, how do we address this? It is heterogeneous. The onset comes early, but it is across ages. It is across gender. Disabled people are generally poor, poorer. The conversion handicap that they suffer of converting them from disabled to being somewhat able is a big handicap today in India. Most likely illiterate and out of school. Less than 10% get access to school, and over 50% drop out after having gone into the school. Very few, a small percentage, 0.5%, make it to higher education. I'm the chairman of Punjab Engineering College, Chandigarh, and I've been attending the convocation for the last two years. 700 degrees we gave just last week, and it was the same number that we gave the previous year. There was not one person of disability, so ask yourself, that while you're here attending this, how many people in your own companies have you actually, while you're giving money out and so on, how many people with disabilities are actually working in 
in your organization. And those people who have been working, I think they have proven that they do well. We had a 28-year-old person who passed out from I am Lucknow. He is blind. I'm sorry to use these words, but I think it's better to talk straight. Right. He is currently doing uh, analytics in Tata Motors. We invited him to one of our sessions. And he came and proved to us on a stage like this that he is as able as any one of you because he's using technology very well. In fact, his, he was wearing a lovely tie and he was very well dressed. And I, I said, Vishal, how do you do it? And he said, hey, you know, I wear coordinated clothes because he has an application which where he can discover in his wardrobe what color the shirt is and what color the tag is. So I think it is feasible for us. And I think, like people said, it's not sympathy. It's actually real action that we need to get done. You know, we, we know that uh, there is lower employment. There's a social stigma. A lot of people, including their own families, think it's a curse of God, right? And because it's a curse of God, they don't get attention that they need. So the deprivations is across multiple dimensions, education, health, transport. So while we, we will work with the government, and it's not only the government which needs to do this. I think we are part of the society. I think it should be done by all of us. Unfortunately, over the years, the population of disabled people is only going to grow. Many things are declining, right? Uh, malaria is declining, many other things are declining, but disability is to grow. Number two, I think we must very clearly note that disability does not go away when countries get richer. Disability remains. So we are very, we are tackling with a very different issue, and I think I'm mentioning these out because we should not take this as just another area that we participate in CSR. India has been acknowledged that we have one of the most progressive frameworks to handle disability. We have a PWD Act, which is under revision. We have a national policy. We have ratified the UN conventions. A survey done by UN, however, showed that 94% of the disabled people in UP and Tamil Nadu, where the survey was done, were not aware of the Act and were not about, aware about the common programs. We have them. So the job is large. If the disabled people don't know what's in for them, then you know how they're going to take benefit out of it. So there is stuff about guessing, getting things right, do the preventive stuff. Many people spoke about it. Identify disabled people. If we don't identify people who are disabled, right, then we will not be able to address them. Who are can we provide early intervention? We heard about the ocular uh, implants, right, that were done early. I think that we need to get children to school. If they don't get into the school, they don't get into the system, they're never going to make it to jobs in our own companies, right? Even if our intention was to provide employment. So, you know, we are very happy that, I'm sorry, lastly, I think the social attitudes and awareness has to get increased. I have a granddaughter who's six years old, and she asked me where I was, and I was at one of the Heritage Award functions, and I'm telling her that we had about 50% of our people there were hearing impaired. So, and I was telling her how people were you know, happy and they were clapping. So she asked me, oh, you were uh, in a place where there was disability. And then she suddenly said, uh, Daddy, Nanu, do you know that I also know sign language? And this is a six year old. I said, sign language? And then she stood up and she did the whole national anthem, right, with sign languages, a six year old. And it's not her. I'm really talking about their school. I salute their school. They did not have a single person, child with disability in the school, but they are sensitized. I think that's what we need to do. Get these children, if they know it, I'm sure she will always remember this like I do remember. So they, there are, and sir, so you're here, and I know how committed you are, and your help that you're giving us, the bill to the rights of uh, the uh, uh, disabled people is, is in the parliament. I hope with your push it will go through. It is important because it has many provisions that will help us. The New Companies Act, while it does include CSR, has only two mentions of disability, whereas there are many areas that disability could come in. There is a fund for uh, the scheduled car, scheduled drive, minorities, women, but not a single fund for disabilities. How come? Disability is missing when we have such a large percentage.
So who needs more attention? Uh, people with disabilities or well-bodied people? And I think it's a question that we should ask ourselves. Uh, donations to Swachh Bharat are tax-free, but so donations to disability cause are not tax-free yet. What is stopping us from making that happen? Right. Prime Minister has endorsed Accessibility India as a program. I hope uh, the Minister is also going to help us. Excuse me, sir. I, I hope the Minister would be helping us saying, if, if Swachh Bharat can get donations tax-free, then why not the, excess, uh, the ones for accessibility in India also tax-free? So please do help us with this. Uh, you know, everybody talked about how money should be given, and I'm saying money would come, money would flow. Corporate sector has a lot of work to do. I think we don't need your money right now. We need your attention, we need your concern. And whatever I'm going to ask you, I have six, seven points that I request the corporates to do. None of them need money, they need your sensitivity and attention. And let me just reel out some of the points that I have here. These are suggestions, take them for what they are. Can we have disability as part of diversity? Every one of us talk about gender diversity. Can we start measuring and saying in our books that while we have 50% women in our company, we have zero people with disability? I'm sure when we start measuring, the next time we will say, I have 0.1%, it will become 0.5, it will become 1. So please take a pledge that your diversity would include disability. Can we mainstream disability in our CSR projects? I asked Javed's team to go look at 500 corporations. We have many people from ISC. I hope you can do that research. We looked at all the policies of CSR. I could barely count in single digits companies which said disability is one of the things that we focus on. They had everything else but this. But if we have 16 crore people, I hope that can be done. So can you mainstream CSR? as part of it. And by the way, you don't have to do disability. You're doing education, you're doing skills, you're doing employment, women, uh, women empowerment, livelihood, poverty. Can you say in each of these, I will also measure disability? That's all you have to do. Don't have to change your programs. Same programs of CSR that you're doing, but look at whether you're covering people with disability in these programs. Uh, can we move away from charitable model of, for disabled people by doles and subsidies to having disabled people becoming more productive members of the society as our customers, as consumers, as potential employees as well. And I think the moment we start looking at this, things would start looking very different. How many of us to have in our CSR committees disabled people sitting there, whether they are from our own employees or outside? Who is better equipped to guide your CSR committee, well-bodied people? of people who can say, this is the kind of help which is most effective. So can we make a change? Uh, in the last four years in the NCPEDP board, I'm very happy Javed, that we have today five people with disability of one kind or the other there. And I think they advise us, we understand what is what we should do best that helps them. Can we ensure that our products, our facilities and websites are accessible? Right, and it's not about the ramp, it's not about the pilot with a bigger door, you know it all, right? I think there is much more to be done than just having our, uh, yeah, of course that's required, it's good to do, but what does it cost to make our products accessible? The, uh, you know, we spoke about Microsoft, iPhone, every one of them have large number of features which are actually meant for people with disabilities. Can we build those features into our products that we can do? And we did have that conference in Bangalore where people did come in that they wanted to do this. But don't think of, you know, the problem is we think, oh, you know, wait a minute, in the last five years, not a single person of disability came, so, you know, why do we have to do it? So if our measurement is going to be how many people will access, no, no, please think what happens if one person accesses. I was very embarrassed when Javed came to my office, right, it's on rent, and it wasn't accessible. And now I don't, he doesn't come to my office. Every time we have a meeting, I have to go to his office. Why can't he access mine? Right. So I think that one person that is accessing, please think of that rather than, and by the way, it's not going to cost you if you design it right from the beginning. 
So we at NCPD, we are working with the government, we are working with the railways, we are amazed with the kind of response we have got in the budget. The railway minister mentioned disability at least in five different places. But there are many things, smart cities, everything that's happening, we need your help to ensure that that's part of it. Corporates have a power of advocacy, you do it all the time with the government and there are many people who are representing those who are doing advocacy. Can you please help us do advocacy at state level? Can you, because there are many issues that are at the state level and we need to change the mindsets there as well. So, you know, as we leave this conference today, would each of us resolve that we would go back and start making a difference through our companies and ourselves to the disabled people. This will be the biggest contribution that any one of would. We come to conference and so on. We hope that your presence here today would be a bit different. You would go back and make CSR as your mainstream. Thank you very much.